Hi, welcome to my garden. Well, actually it's my indoor garden. You see, guess what I got in the mail today? That's right. My trees from the Arbor Day Foundation came in this bag. I wasn't expecting it. It's the middle of winter. And today I'm going to show you what you do when you get your trees from Arbor Day Foundation unexpectedly sent to you in the mail during winter. So inside that bag, um, there's important information about your trees. They send you some information. And how to plant and transplant. It's a planting guide and pretty much inside this guide it tells you how to plant there you go sorry there's a lot of sun how you plant your trees and then at the very bottom it tells you if you can't there I'll read it avoid planting in pots unless it is a last resort. If you are planting in a pot for the season and intend to transplant it in the spring, be sure to keep the pot indoors or in the garage. Please note that when you do transplant in the spring, it will be important to slowly reintroduce the plants to outdoor conditions by leaving them in the pots before transplanting into the ground. Please remember, keeping trees in a container has a low success rate due to inconsistencies with temperature and moisture. So. It's pretty consistent temperature in my house. It's I had the thermostat set at 62. And in this room that it's going to be in, um, it may fluctuate, but it does fluctuate slowly because it's indoors. So this is a please read. Basically, there's 10 plants. There's three American red buds, two sergeant crab apples, two Washington hawthorns, and three white flowering dogwoods. Okay, and what they identify them is they paint some coloring on the stems so you know which is which. So there's no paint, purple, yellow, and white. And then it kind of tells you different information about the trees you're getting. And that's what I just read you there, the code color code identification chart so what that's referring to here let me show you and what I did is Pat I unpackaged them took a couple tie wraps off of them and then I put them inside this jar let's see when I held it there you go you can see the roots in there so I still have to separate them and you can see the different colors. There's some purple and white and yellow, and then some with nothing on them. So they're very small trees. But we're going to go ahead and plant them. And I'll do the purple ones probably first, or I'll just see what I can separate. So let me set that down. Yeah. Ah, that's good. All right, so first thing in garden, your knee pad, because this ground is hard where I'm at right here, in front of my fireplace. Uh, garden soil from Miracle Grow. I'm going to use that just like we saw in the early planting. In a bucket, some gloves, a couple shovels. Some cutters if I need them. Pots. This is all I have. These are, uh, I'll have to get a ruler and measure them. I think they're number six, 15s. Yeah, but that's not important. It's all I have, so I'm gonna use what I have. And then I have the trays. 
keep water from leaking onto my carpet. And then we'll put them up. So the first thing I'm going to do is set out some pots. I'm also going to make a mess, but oh well. I'll put four of them out for now. Chop that up because there's some big chunks in there. I had this in my garage, luckily. It wasn't outside the shed, but been frozen. Pretty much what I'm going to do. Hopefully, this works. I'm going to put one shovel full in each one of these. Are the sardine crab apples? Pretty much. Trying to take this out and carefully separate these because the roots are a little bit tangled up in shipping. I'm just going to kind of Carefully with my fingers, let them fall apart. Got a lot of roots on that one. And I'm just trying to let them fall apart without pulling. enough. So, this can be separated. I should throw the marks in there. So it just sits in there like that. There you go. Then I'm going to carefully put the dirt for it.
and just lightly pressing that down. And there you go. Um, just come right up to the edge there. Hopefully the, these might have been roots, but it's a stem, so hopefully that turns into a stem. So I'll do one more. These are the big ones, so again, I want to get this down below enough. Let's put this down on the edge there. I can only do what I can do, right? Pretty much just trying to save these throughout the winter. So that's two of them. I'll go ahead and do the rest and then we'll put them up in the window. And on the bottom there's three yellow and two white and then on the top we're going to put the two purple and the three with none. some water. Oh, I didn't think about that, huh? Let me just move top of the engine, top of bottom. Just too much water in there. Alright. Predicament here. I have to take that bar out. I don't think I need it. So I'll put water in there after I water them. If I need to add more soil, as they get packed down by the water, I will. Probably gonna remember not to fill that too much. All right. So I have three. American red buds in a row up on top with no paint. So I'm just going to put an AR, American red bud, and stick that in there. I know all three of those are American red buds. And then the Sergeant Crab Apples, same thing. SC, Sergeant Crab Apples. Put that in there. And Washington Hawthorns, three of those right across the back there. And then actually those are these two here, the yellow. And then three with the white paint on them that's still visible. 
are the white flowering dogwoods. White flowering dogwoods, WFD. Okay, so we'll water those, keep them, keep them watered, monitor them, see how it goes. But that's what you do when you get your plants in the mail and it's still winter out. So I'm going to go clean up that mess and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Click like and don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Thank you.